Hey guys, Assalamualaikum, welcome back to my channel. Today I made some black hot dot buns using squid ink. So stay tuned and watch how I made them. So before I show you how I made my hot dog buns, I'm going to show you what fillings I've put in my hot dogs. So we're going to use jalapenos um, and cottage cheese with pineapple. We're going to use meat free bacon pieces and we're gonna use squeezy burger cheese this is absolutely yummy grated mozzarella and some mustard and my homemade naga sauce and of course we're gonna be using the sausages so first we're gonna slice the sausages through the middle not all the way through and of course after frying them just to put the fillings in like so We're going to fry the bacon in the frying pan with about a teaspoon of oil just to make it a bit crispy. Now we're going to put jalapenos inside the sausages across all the way through. Squeeze the cheesy sauce across the bun. And then we're going to put in some bacon on top of the cheese. And then we're going to place our sausage inside the bun. Now we're going to get our cottage cheese, which I should have actually put in before, and put it, squeeze it in. and sprinkle some mozzarella cheese on top. Then we're gonna bang it under the grill until the cheese melts. We're gonna sprinkle some chili flakes on top and then I'm gonna add in my mustard sauce and my chili sauce but it's totally up to you what sauce you want to add. And there we go guys, our delicious Korean black hot dogs. It's served with some fries, some ramen noodle and meat gyozas. How delicious does that look? So yeah, now we can get on with showing you how I actually made the hot dog rolls. So first in a bowl we're going to add one cup of warm milk and to that we're going to add two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of squid ink and we're gonna crack in one egg and half a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna mix it in together properly so all the squid ink and everything combines together properly and then we're going to set it aside 
for the yeast to do its job for about 7 to 10 minutes. Now we're going to add 3 cups of bread flour, you can use all purpose flour but bread flour works better and we're going to gradually put the flour in, not all in at once and we're going to mix it properly too. After you combine it all together, we're going to add 2 tablespoons of melted butter and we're going to mix it in thoroughly. If you find it too sticky like it is now, you can add a bit of flour at a time to get it to the right consistency. Now you're going to roll your sleeve up and start digging in with your hands. So transfer it to a table or your worktop and start kneading it for about 7 to 8 minutes.
Now roll it into a ball, a big ball, and then transfer it into a bowl which have greased up with oil. Now cover it up with a tea towel or a cloth and leave it to rest for about an hour or so or until the dough has doubled its size. It's been an hour now and our dough has risen so start pressing ground to deflate any air and we're gonna start rolling it knead it for a bit and then start rolling it into a log Now we're going to start cutting them up into individual pieces. I made 13 pieces out of that. You can do smaller buns or bigger buns totally up to you. And the mistake I've done was I didn't measure. So one of mine's big, the other one's small and so on. So here we go guys, our black hot dog buns, hope you enjoyed watching it and until next time, bye! So now we're going to press it down flat and start rolling it from each end and we're going to pinch it together in the middle. We now got one egg and two tablespoons of milk and mix it together to make an egg wash to make it a bit shiny at the top and we're going to lightly just rub it on top of each rolls.
We're going to now cover it with a cling film and let it rest for another 30 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes now, we're going to uncover it and then bang it in the preheated oven gas mac 180 for about 15 to 20 minutes but always keep an eye on because everybody's oven varies temperature and the timing as well. So after 20 minutes that's how our hot dog buns look like and guys if you can see they look like cracks but they're not cracks the mistake I've done was when I was rolling them up I didn't beat it up properly you know shape it up properly and these marks they look like cracks but actually I didn't blend it up nicely to make it look smooth but trust me they ever so soft and they taste delicious so once again we're going to brush it again with the egg wash and then leave it to cool after it's cooled down a bit i'm going to cut it halfway through the sides for our sausages to go in i'm going to be making korean hot dogs with these 